Long time no see. Let's hope this camcorder keeps working. Uh, something about the SD card slot that's going bad or something. It just quits recognizing anything and I can't record. Anyway, to get on with it before it dies, today I'm going to take a look at the Rojas Street Taco. This is the car Street Tacos Carnitas. Toro, 6x50, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, binder filled with Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan, and price is about nine bucks. I mean, right around the nine dollars. I mean, you know, prices vary, and you buy a box, you get it cheaper, yada yada yada. Anyway, um, oh, I forgot to get my cutter out of my pocket. I'm going to use the Calibri B cutter. Because I lost all those other cutters that I had, those cheap ones, I have no idea where I put them. Oh well. It's just like lighters. Don't ever let me use a good lighter if you have it. It'll probably die right afterwards. Oh. That's kind of a sweet tobacco taste to it on the cold draw. Actually pretty pleasant. Yeah, it's pretty nice actually. Huh. Go figure. Normally they're just dead, plain. That's, that actually has something else to it. Oh yeah, look at that torch go. Oh, well, this wasn't working either. I got it working, but it's like a blue torch now. Oh well. Work with what we got, right? Right. Scorched it a little bit. Scorched it a little bit. Oh, bad Mike. Bad Mike. Bad Mike. That's some of that sweet tobacco in the first puffs here, too. Mellow, really mellow. Has a, a bit of spice, but nothing, nothing over the top. It's it's really a, a mild draw. I'm trying to figure out what that. It's not a pepper. I can't remember, I can't think of what that tastes. Let me take a flow. Yeah, it's real, I mean, it's really smooth and mellow. I had sweet tobacco taste comes in. And it's nice. Wish I could figure out what that spice was though. Not a garlic. It's not completely. Maybe it's a white pepper. It might be that white pepper. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Wow. Oh, anyway, um, that's what I'm getting right off the bat. So we'll see how this does after the first third with this. What was it? Rojas Street Tacos Carnitas. I don't know what carnitas means. I don't know if that just means Connecticut. I'll try to look that up. I like the band. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Anyway, I'll be back. Howdy do. I'm back. I wanted to come back. Um, you can see it's burning off. It, we had a kind of a blowout here. Um, Hey, just the weather here. It's just so wacky here in fall. Um, anyway, uh, the only other complaint thing that I have, I don't even think you can see it probably, there's a, a stem poking through the wrapper that 
you have to make sure that you put that side in your mouth or else you're, you can feel air being drawn through. But other than that, I mean, that's that happens. I mean, there's not much you can do about it if a, if a stem's right there at the wrapper and you put it at your mouth and it squishes it together and comes through and you take a puff. Still has that nice smooth. Oops, sorry, forgot to turn my phone off. Yeah. Nice, subtle, smooth, and it is. I'm believing the white pepper is correct. What I said in the beginning. That's what I'm tasting. Um, not a whole lot going on with it. I mean, you get that. There's a bit of a woodiness going on with that pepper and that creamy, creamy smoke that. You get good volumes of it. Um, Tanner, puff here. See if this gets caught back up. Looks like it's going to. You can see it starting to. It'll come around, I believe. Um, but anyway, um, there is nothing. There's really not a whole lot to say. I mean, it's just such a smooth, mellow, relaxing cigar. Um, has a bit of a bit of a bitterness, and I, I, it's it's not really pronounced yet. It's more on the aftertaste so far, so I haven't really gotten it in my head about what it's reminding me of. Um, it's it's really subtle right now. But we'll go ahead and go through and burn this puppy down and see see how it goes. So I will be back uh, sometime, as long as the camcorder works. Maybe this didn't get recorded. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be back. Alrighty, everybody. I'm back here towards the end of my... Oh, stink bug. Uh, Rojas Street Tacos Cal... Carnitas. Why can't I remember that? Carnitas. I didn't even have time to look that up yet. I wanted to see what carnitas mean, meant, or means, and I just haven't had the time. Um, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I could be totally wrong, but the cigar tastes, it, it's been a solid smoker the whole way it caught up itself pretty much. I mean, I never retouched it or anything else. It's, it's, it got through that blow-up point and everything. Um, but to me, it has that, with that bitterness, it almost reminds me, like, it's not a Lijero, but it would be like the step down. What is that, Bezo? Um, or like a low Lijero priming or a high Bezo priming or something like that, um, if I'm right in that, if Bezo. Be Bezo? Anyway, like I said, I'm going out on a limb and just guessing. Um, just because of how it tastes to me, it has, I, I, it would have been a lot more subtle if it would have kept the lower end throughout the whole thing, I believe. Um, it's almost like they tried to kick it in a little bit. And, I mean, you, it, it's still a good cigar, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, people freak out when I say something bad. It, it's not that I think the cigar is bad. It's just I'm telling you what I'm getting from it so you understand what you're getting into. Let me take a puff here. Smoke volume is great. See there, it, it's... It just gives that taste where it's not like that charred meat taste. It's not, you know, a full-blown Lijero, but it's kind of close, if you understand what I mean. Like I said, I could be a complete idiot, and I may be totally wrong, and hopefully somebody can tell me if I'm right, or if I'm wrong. Hey, it's always nice to know either way, you know? I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll quit saying it. If I'm right, yay! Man, big deal. I like it. I don't like that 
bitterness that comes, especially with the aftertaste. Um, it just kind of lingers a little bit too much. Uh, smoking the cigar with the with the smoke when you when you take the smoke in and have it in your mouth and roll it around and it's creamy, it's nice, it has a woody texture to it, has a white pepper or not woody texture, yeah, woody texture, woody taste with uh, you know some of that white pepper with it. Let me take another puff here. That I, I do have to say that where that stem poked through. I don't know if it's easier to see now or not. Uh, can you see that little poke through? Right there. But uh, it does get annoying after a while because you can tell you're drawing air through if you don't put that piece like on your lips or in your mouth because it's letting air come through. Little things, you know. Yeah. See, when you have that smoke in your mouth, and there comes the bitterness, it it really hangs on to that creamy taste. Um, it's not... I would not say this cigar is complex. I really want it. Um, I haven't get, been getting any, you know, wacky tastes or... I mean, it's just a straight good smoking cigar and while that smoke is in your mouth it stays creamy it stays milder it lets you enjoy it it's that aftertaste I don't care for and I don't know hopefully somebody can tell me in the comments uh, if you get that too or like I said if I am an idiot so you know hey it happens um, great burning cigar uh, like I said, it caught itself up after that little blowout, which the weather. I, I'm not blaming the cigar for that one at all. Um, we're like in a heat wave all of a sudden in October, and I think next week we're going down in the 50s or 40s or something. I don't know, who knows. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a decent cigar to smoke. Would I buy it again? I would try it to see if I still get that bitterness afterwards. This is just the only one I've had. Um, if I still got that bitterness, I probably wouldn't. Uh, but if that bitterness is just with this cigar and, you know, it's not the majority of them to have it, then yeah, I could definitely see smoking them because it's really, really enjoyable when you take that puff, which I'm going to do right now. Mm. It is so good with that. And then the white pepper kicks in, and then the bitterness. And that's what takes it down for me. Some of you might enjoy that. So if you do, go for it. Um, anyway, that's all I have to blabber about. So uh, hopefully it won't be as long next time. Hopefully this camcorder works and I don't have any missing segments. <laughs> so. Till next time, keep smoking.